Hey everybody, today we're going to be installing a Weaver Davit system on an inflatable dinghy. Now before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's do this. So for those of you who haven't seen these up close before, this is what they look like. So this is the yoke side of it, and this is the snap davit side of it. And so what happens is this is on the side of the boat, you come up, lock that into place, and then the boat can swing up and down. It's a pretty nifty little setup. All right, so first things first, you have to take some measurements on your boat to make sure everything's going to fit. So this is an eight and a half foot dinghy, and it's going on a boat with an eight and a half foot beam. So everything's good there. I had the dinghy down at the boat in the water and took measurements where the pad needs to go for the rear one. What I'm going to do is hold this pad up to the dinghy and tape it off so I don't get any glue where I don't want it to be. All right, we got our tape, so let's mask this guy up. Okay, so I got it all taped up. And as you can see, it's pretty much the exact shape of the pad we'll be putting on. And again, that is to protect the rest of the dinghy from getting glue on it where we don't want it. So next up, we will be removing this handle. This pad will be going roughly right there. So we need it out of the way so we can install that. So what I did, I poured a little bit of acetone on this paintbrush and then just started slowly working it in like that. Okay, so this is about five minutes worth of work doing that same method I just showed you with the paintbrush and it's working really really nicely. Okay so there we go I got the handle off. I have to note that removing stuff from PVC is significantly easier than removing stuff from Hypalon. In my other video I tried for like an hour to get a small weaver davit pad off but this method worked really good. So to clean up the dirt ring and the excess glue you get a rag and put some acetone on it and wipe it all down. So I got this spot cleaned up pretty much, I think, as good as it's going to get. So now I'm ready to fit up the pad that's going to go here and mask off the new area. So we are all taped up and ready to move on to gluing. So here's the adhesive that I will be using. This is formulated specifically for PVC that this boat is made out of. They also make it for Hypalon. Um, I will have links in the description below for both the glue, the Weaver Davit pads, and all the other Snap Davit parts. If you click on them, it really helps out my channel. It doesn't cost you any more. In fact, I'll have the best priced or the best option ones down there for you if you look to go this route. Anyway, thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. So before you mix it up, always read the instructions. So here you can see we have a tack life of five to 15 minutes, a pot life of four to six hours, a curing time of 48 hours to six days. It gives us a uh, thinner and cleanup, how to store it, how long it's good for, uh, a little bit of MSDS stuff, first aid, all the other important stuff that you need to know just in case. Um, it does have full instructions on how to do it, plus tips. Um, I've done this before, but I will still be referencing this to get it done. I highly recommend that you do that as well. So our steps will be first mix the glue, then put a very thin layer of glue on both the pad and the tube. Let that dry for about half an hour and then recoat it and apply them. When applying it, the tube should be deflated so you can push from the backside and make sure there's no air bubbles. And within 48 hours, you can put it on the back of your boat. All right, so we're back over at the bench. We got our blue, we got our curing, curing agent, and our mixing cup. So I'm only going to mix up a half pot of this. I think that's all, all I will need for these pads. So let's get to it. Just so you can kind of see what this looks like. It's kind of a clear liquid. I have to say, the PVC glue definitely looks different from the Hypalon glue. The Hypalon glue is kind of a uh, milky color. This is clear, and this smells really bad. So I'm going to open up the door and get some air flowing in here. Okay, so I have the first thin layer applied and in half an hour we'll come back and goop them up again and stick them on. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, so now we're gonna goop it up and stick it on. Okay, so I painted on the glue and pushed on the pads. And this part is a little bit tricky, so I haven't really been able to show you everything. I actually have to reach behind each pad and push on it from 
essentially the inside of the tube to make sure it adheres correctly. And there's only a quick time frame I can do that, so I'm working on that now. Okay, so these are in the process of drying now. I come back every once in a while to make sure that the edges are staying adhered. It was a little tricky doing both of these at once, and I used all the glue. So keep in mind that a half pot will treat just barely two pads. Another thing I'd recommend too, I put this tape on really tight. I'd give maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around so you don't end up gluing over it like I have in a few spots. Okay guys, so we're done with this for the next 24 hours. In that time, we don't touch it. We need to let the glue cure and bond with the PVC tubes. So I'll see you in 24 hours. Okay, so here we are 48 hours later and everything is looking awesome. It's sticking nicely. Over here, everything is looking good too. These guys pop in pretty easy. They're just hand tight. All right, so now we're heading down to the boat. Let's go. All right, so here we are down at the boat. I got a little too excited and started measuring and drilling and forgot to take any video of it, but there we are. Did the first two holes here after matching it all up and then followed by those two. And now we have a functioning debit system. Every boat's gonna be a little bit different and measuring where the center of your boat is will be up to you to figure out. Thanks for watching another episode of Kevin's Garage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.